In the second part, we are going to create an application profile of the vocabulary that we created in the first part. We presume it is published on the web, so we take the URL of the published specification and say that we are going to profile it. We name the profile, we add the description, and again the base IRI of the class and property profiles created in this application profile. The first thing we are going to do is to create class profiles of the classes from DCAT and also of the agent class of FOLF because we want to say that those classes will be part of our application profile of our application context. So we create uh, the class profiles. Now we do not have FOLF, so we need to import it again so that we can create a class profile of agent. Now we can go and create attribute profiles. Now you'll see that we create two profiles of title. This is DCTM's title, and we are going to change the name under which we see DCTM's title in our application profile. And we are going to create two attribute profiles of DCTM's title, one for resource and one for distribution. And each profile will have a different name, and uh, we also set the uh, range cardinalities and uh, the ranges, the data types, to RDFS literal. So now we create the distribution title, which is another attribute profile of the same property DC terms title. But we have a different context, distribution, and we want to say that the name here is distribution title. Now we are going to do the same for description. So we'll have a resource description attribute profile and we'll have a distribution description attribute profile. And again, we are going to name the profile differently for each occurrence. And we set the range and the cardinality that is applicable in our application profile. Now we continue with relationship profiles. We are going to create a relationship profile of DC Terms Publisher, connecting catalog and agent. We are going to change the definition to fit our application profile. And we are going to say that the cardinality is one one, that the publisher is required and there can be only one. Note that we set the domain and the range to the class profiles created in our application profile. We are going to do the same for DCAT distribution, connecting a dataset to a distribution class. And now we are finished with our specification. So we can save it and we can see that the document is ready. It lists all our class and property profiles. And in, it links from these profiles to the profiled classes and properties in the original vocabulary documentation. So we can click through it and go to the vocabulary specification and see uh, the whole vocabulary context.
Now, the application profile in a machine readable way is described using the data specification vocabulary as a machine readable RDF based file. It is again attached to the specification and will be published with the specification on the web. Finally, we can again download the specification and publish it on a web server directly.